Hello and welcome to ESPN Crick Info Match Day. I'm Nikhil Naz. As usual, we are looking back at three reasons why India beat New Zealand. A first quick look at the scorecard. India won that Wellington ODI by 35 runs after being precariously placed at uh, 4 for 18 at one point. Uh, once again, it was uh, the Indian bowlers that did the job. You had three wickets for Chahal, two for Shami, two for Hardik and then one each uh, for Bhuvaneshwar and Ketar Jadav. The star with the bat was Ambati Raidu. So we look at the three reasons when we start with the man of the match that is Ambati Raidu for his 90 runs and if you take a look at uh, India from the 2015 World Cup onwards they've tried uh, almost 11 players at that position and it's Ambati Raidu who's right up there as far as the stats are concerned he's number two in terms of total runs scored uh, with 431 only behind MS Thoni but if you look at that average he's even higher almost closing in on 54 as compared to 40 for uh, MS Thoni and then you've even tried Rahane Yuvra Singh, Dinesh Karthik, as I mentioned, 11 in all in that position. Now, that was one area where India were looking to fill ahead of the World Cup. Seems like for the moment, Ambati Raidu has made that spot his own. Now, taking a look at reason number two, and this features India's lower middle order. That also features three all-rounders. Now, these are the three all-rounders that actually helped uh, Raidu put on those 90 runs. We'll start with Vijay Shankar. Now, he batted almost 22 overs alongside Raidu, putting on those 98 runs, which were very crucial after after India had lost those four early wickets and you expected them to be a bit slow on the run rate which is uh, visible there at 4.38 because they were trying to rebuild the innings. Then came on the other all-rounder in Kedar Jadav to join Ambati Raidu. They put on 74 runs, of course uh, much quicker than before because the foundation had been laid at a run rate of 6.43. Uh, Kedar Jadav there uh, contributing with a total of 34 runs. And then eventually it was that uh, blockbuster of an inning by Hardik Pandya right at the end. 45 runs of just 22 balls. He also hit uh, Todd Astle for three consecutive sixes. The fifth time he's done that in international cricket. If you take a look at the strike rate now from 2017 onwards, he's number two in that list. Only behind Sri Lanka's Pereira with a strike rate of 117 ahead of the likes of A.B. De Villiers as as well and I also happen to look at his average during that time and that's a very healthy 29 almost touching 30 I say uh, very healthy because uh, he's always been batting at that number six number seven position for India where we really need to up the ante and he's been doing that rather well okay reason number three that India has done very well is Mohammad Shami has also been uh, declared the man of the series the man consistently chipping away at the top order of the New Zealand side and the reason why he's done so well if you take a look at the Indian bowlers as such they did very well in this match you have Chehel with three wickets Shami picking up those two crucial wickets Hardik Pandya two wickets then you had one apiece for Bhuvi and Jadav if you take a look back at this series this series probably for the Indian team would be remembered more for the bowlers and not so much for the batsmen that's very unusual for a batting heavy Indian side because this was a series where you didn't have a single hundred scored yet you had Indian bowlers getting those wickets it started with Bhuvaneshwar and Shami right at the top with the new ball then the spinners coming in Chehel being very very crucial there and then the all-rounders also picking up wickets uh, in Hardik Pandya as well as Kedar Jadav you are watching ESPN Cricket Info Match Day don't forget to like share subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below click on the bell icon for notifications